Dear God, I thank you for your faithfulness and for the deserved kindness with which you cover me. Thank you because your love is unconditional and eternal. I am grateful that you sent us the Savior and that your Holy Spirit always remains by our side. You are my shelter and that of my family, and you dwell in the abode of our hearts. I have no doubts, I know that you will help us in difficult times. You are our caretaker and provider, which gives us the peace and tranquility we need. Before you, I bow, asking for my family, praying that my children have well-being and are always under your wings. Never stop covering them with your presence. Dear Father God, I believe in you, and I lift up my prayer with faith, offering and declaring with my lips. I sing praises to your name today and always. Thank you for taking care of my loved ones. I have confidence that you will never leave them. Therefore, Father, I ask you to guide and protect them and keep them free from all evil and danger. May your love and mercy be with us today and always. Be our castle and fortress, the unbreakable strong wall, and the shield that blocks every dart of the enemy. The shield that defends us, the sword that fights and conquers, the safe place where they will always be. I know in whom they trust with all their hearts, free from the snares of the enemy, the hunter of souls who only seeks to destroy your children. If you are around, the terror of the night will not be able to haunt them, nor the evil that besieges during the day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness. Thank you, my Father, because you have never abandoned us. You are the support we need, the necessary and daily blessing that surprises us with more than we ask because you are wonderful. My sublime Creator, beloved Father, I thank you because you are a God who forgives, who heals our wounds, who renews my heart, transforms lives, and feeds the soul. You are a God of kindness, so I know that all your intentions are gentle. I am sure that my family is safe and well cared for. With you, my heart remains grateful all the time, and I run to the fortress, the safe place of your protection, Lord. You always give us, you never abandon us, you never sleep, even if everything around is in darkness. Your light is always with my family, your lamp does not go out. You continue to illuminate the way, pointing to the right destination so that our feet never slip. My loved ones are guarded, I know, Father, in every moment of their days, when they rise and go to bed, even while they sleep. You are on their right and left, up and down, everywhere. No matter where they go, or the direction their steps take, they are protected, dear God, Almighty Father. You send your angels to defend and protect them in their journey. They will never leave your side. Take care of them every hour of the day, Father. The Lord prevents us from falling into temptations, fighting for us, my Father, and winning the battle with His banner. I fervently ask God that no evil spirit can deceive them, just as no malicious person who plots hidden and dark plans. These beings only think evil thoughts. Father, don't let them get close to your children. With you, no destructive plague will reach them. Save them from persecutors and instigators who are like lions and snakes hiding in the darkness, waiting to attack your children. But no one can prevail against you, Father. Give them the power to defeat them and revoke them, please, my God, answer when they call you. Never leave them. I know that you will be alert to help them, and your celestial beings will remain with them in good and bad times. If they go through anguish, if they are in a moment of abyss, take them by the hand, Father, and lift them up. 
show them the salvation with which you bless them, the path to eternal life, that true love that surpasses all human understanding. Fill them with great faith that surpasses all obstacles so that they can believe without any doubt, even in terrible circumstances, even if evil comes to touch them. I know that your angels will protect them. I believe that my family is protected against all families. No calamity can strike us. Thank you, my God, because you always answer. You have delivered us, and now we glorify you. Fill them with life, granting them salvation. Their lives are protected. The glory is yours, my God. Thank you, Almighty, because you guide them with your hands. They will not err if you are the guide. I fervently ask, Father, that you answer their requests according to your perfect will. Their coins are protected from all evil, and the wicked cannot harm them, even if they wish to. The plague will not be able to destroy them, nor will the arrows that the enemy sends like Elisha, who day and night want to harm those who love you, Father. They seek to devastate the children of the Most High God. I ask that you fill them with madness and days that you allow them to see your wonders. I am sure that you will not fail, and my words will reach you. Receive them in your arms, Father. Therefore, I proclaim your name with great devotion, Almighty God. I proclaim it with your power and goodness, the trust of my life. I love you with all my heart. I am infinitely grateful for having you, Lord. You are the key to family happiness. God is my refuge and guardian. I ask for my children. I ask the Lord to grant their request. Lord, free them from all evil. Cover them with your wings. Protect them with your powerful shadow. No plague will come near them. Your strength is great. You are the defense they need, the joy, and peace that their souls demand. Bless my family, beloved Creator. Let them grow with your grace and truth. You are the Good Shepherd. My and my children's needs will always be provided for because you will lead us to green pastures and guide us beside still waters. You will restore our souls. Thank you, God, for your faithfulness in forgiving our sins. You restore the hearts of those who trust in you and lead them on paths of righteousness. Even when days are dark and danger threatens, my family will not fear any evil because your rod guides us like sheep. You are always with us, giving us encouragement when we are afflicted and guiding us towards justice out of love for your children. You serve us a table of plenty, and visible and hidden enemies can see it. Our heads are anointed with the oil of your love and kindness, and the cup of blessings overflows for my family and children. Your great mercy is with us today and always, and your love is incomprehensible, so I will never tire of humbly bowing before you and raising these prayers to you. I know that my words reach the heavens where you are, and I trust that you will send timely answers. Father, I know that you never abandon your children, and my family will dwell in your house for many days. You are our security and deliver us from the afflictions of the world, giving us the will to persevere. When we call to you, Father, you are with us in our trials, filling us with your love. Thank you for creating my children in your image, according to your perfect will. Thank you for having a perfect plan for their lives, full of goodness and mercy. I leave their lives fully in your hands, knowing that you want only the best for them. I know that you will give them patience and lovingly discipline them when they stray. I entrust their education and livelihood to you, 
trusting in all your provisions. I place their happiness and future in your power, O merciful and eternal God, who accompanies me and my family at every moment. Thank you for the days and moments with them, for every chance to comfort them with your Holy Spirit and to provide them with good companions and friends. I pray that they will have useful and profitable skills and that they may grow and learn new things. Thank you for the difficult times and challenges that help us mature, as well as the good times that allow us to enjoy life and your grace. Thank you for always loving us. Thank you for my children, for seeing them born and grow, for they have intelligence and a full life with unique personalities and inner beauty. I do not mind asking you for mercy because thanks to you, they are and will be good men and women. Only because of you can we feel secure. May our bodies, souls, and spirits be protected, and may we always remain alert. May we be humble, generous, and helpful, so that our hearts may not be corrupted by selfishness, and we may perceive the needs of others and come quickly to their aid. May our eyes always be alert, and may our hearts open to good things, full of love for you, Father, and for others as ourselves. I am grateful for each loved one, above all for my beloved children. May our union be filled with love and may no problem break us. May we always support each other, learning from the bad moments and enjoying the good ones. The Lord loves us, and may my children be a reflection of your grace and love. Bless my entire family, Father. Illuminate them with your great wisdom, fill their hearts with well-being, and fill their spirits with faith that overcomes all circumstances. May we always live in harmony with total fidelity to the Lord, with generosity and forgiveness. May all guilt be overcome so that discord does not affect us. May my family and my children be witnesses of your infinite love and glory. Cover them with your precious and holy blood, fill them with the glorious Holy Spirit. I proclaim that your promises will always be fulfilled, Lord. Their dreams will become a reality according to your perfect purpose. Father, I believe that you will bring them prosperity from above. May they never lack sustenance, and may all their needs be covered. Whatever they undertake will be successful because you bless them. You give them wisdom and full understanding. Your light gives them intelligence to achieve their goals. With their achievements, they can be an example and help others because all their dreams are constructive and blessed. Thank you, God, for all your love. You are our powerful Savior. You receive us as children and bring us closer to your holy throne. In your presence, we are holy. Holy God, Lord of hosts, I thank you for all the blessings. Give us awareness of all of them so that our hearts may be eternally grateful, conscious that you are the great provider. Eternal and merciful Father who delivers us from the snares of the enemy and the scourges that afflict us. Therefore, my family should not feel afraid of any attack or persecution. Almighty Creator, you are faithful and merciful. Even in the valley of the shadow of death, you are with us. When everything seems lost, you rescue us. There is no fear because you are the beacon of light that illuminates and guides us, even in the darkest night. Thank you for taking care of my loved ones. Your powerful wall surrounds us. You are an impregnable fortress, and all challenges and tests will be overcome. If there are doubts in my soul, I know that everything will be granted according to your perfect will. Your great love is the greatest provision, and I have no doubts about it. I will continue to pray, my God. 
I will not stop praying every day because being in your presence is wonderful. It is the food for our souls. Thank you, Father, for always listening to me. I thank you forever and honor you, Lord, because the blessing of my life is my family. They are a wonderful gift that you have filled with grace. Our future is in you, Lord, and as a merciful God, you will always triumph over evil. Your dwelling is our place of rest, and your presence gives us the power to face evil. Therefore, nothing can harm or defeat us. The Archangel Michael is strong and powerful. You send him as a mighty warrior to rescue us. If you are with us, nothing will defeat us, and no path is impossible. It will be wrong even if they have stones, their angels will always rescue them, my children and relatives will know your name Father, and you will answer their prayers no matter what happens. You will give them a long and full life, so they have nothing to fear. There is no insurmountable obstacle, no problem without a solution. You open a door, clearing the path of darkness. You are good and faithful. Your love is what unites us. I thank you for every member of my family and for the blessings with which you have blessed us. Thank you for taking care of us all the time, because your blessing is upon our heads. I am grateful for the joys and sorrows because we learn from good and bad. You restore us, and we grow in spirit and in truth. Our faith is strengthened in adversity. Your mercy, Father, remains today, tomorrow, and always. You forgive us unconditionally, and you lift us up without objections, even when we fail. You will always be there for us, and my family will always remain in your presence, proclaiming love with praises. Lord, never let any of them leave your side. May your name always be on the lips of my children, Father, to pray to you, confirm their faith, speak of your greatness, and proclaim the perfection of your works. My excellent God, I am grateful for forgiving my faults, for helping me grow in faith. I continue to ask that you take care of my family because you give me the will to pray day and night for them, to proclaim my love for you, forgiving God. You never fail me, always answering me. Thank you for filling me with faith, for believing in me. With God, I know everything will be okay. You prepare a special table for us, comfort our hearts, and provide them with the spiritual food they need. You quickly forget their flaws and allow them to appreciate the beauty of your creation. May being in your holy presence be our delight. In you, God, my trust is immense. With an abundance of days, you graft us in at all times. Your blessing is with us, and no sadness will come. And if it does, we will be full of strength to overcome it. You will always give us victory. In rest, our soul and spirit find refuge, peace, and well-being. When they call on you, you come quickly. In tribulation, you are our strength, allowing us to move forward and not succumb to defeat. We will not be discouraged by what seems likely because with you, everything is possible. Always show us your salvation, what you provide us through your beloved Son Jesus Christ, through all the saints, angels, archangels, principalities, powers, thrones, seraphim, and cherubim. Infinite thanks, I proclaim to you, Father. I know you will have the answer I seek day and night. Morning and afternoon, I will kneel until I receive your response, auxiliary and protector of my loved ones. My children will be fine. My family will always be protected. Thank you, my God. 
I always believe in you. Amen. My God, my Almighty and Most Holy Creator, I come before you with full faith in my soul. I do not doubt your protection and the love you give me. I stand before your presence, trusting that you will always help me. I want to stay under your shelter, in the shadow of your wings, before your holy throne of glory. I ask for your help in this battle because in my humanity, I cannot do it alone. I ask that you support me and be with me always, my eternal Father and Guardian. Please, God, do not abandon me. I ask that your will be done, and then my soul will rest in peace. Dear Creator, never leave me because without you, I cannot win. I continue to pray before you, Father. I am your child, and I always follow your steps, my great God. My Almighty and Great Redeemer, I ask that you protect me with your shadow, that I may be enveloped in your presence, between your wings. I want you to be the strength of my life because without it, I would fall. I could not prevail against evil. Only you fight against the spiritual beings of evil. Holy Refuge, Powerful Wall, Deliver me from all evil. Father, you are my God who loves me and saves me. You protect me from the enemy and from snares. You do not let the terror of the night strike me, nor the arrows that assail by day. You also do not let the plague touch me. That is why I believe in you today, tomorrow, and always. I glide sinuously through the darkness, but you protect me from all evil. I ask you, Lord, to give me discernment and wisdom so that I may recognize the works of evil, from every enemy that pursues me, whether visible or invisible, so that I may resist. My Father, I declare your holy name. I know that my enemies will fall, each one of those physical or spiritual beings, 10,000 on each side of my path. I will only contemplate the reward of the wicked with my own eyes because you, Lord, are my holy refuge, my Savior, my beloved, my wonderful Creator. I know that I am not alone because you are here, and no matter what happens, you send your celestial armies to rescue me. Angels and archangels are by my side. I do not doubt. I feel your strength, and you put them in my care. I am guarded and protected. I will not fall because you guard each of my steps. No stone will make me stumble. I will step on evil without mercy, with the authority that you grant me. Father, I have full power to break the darkness. All the enemies that want to harass me will not be able to stand before the children of God. You give me victory over the hosts of evil. Bless me with your holy presence, work always in my favor. That is why I love you, Holy God, Heavenly Father. You bless me with your presence and favor. You answer me when I call in distress. You remain faithful. You set me free and embrace me. That is why I am eternally grateful, Father. You prolong my days and show me what your love means. I walk in your way, which is the truth and the life. You do not let evil subjugate me. There is an adversary that my eyes cannot see, which worries me, but you can go against them. You dominate them with your strength, and they will not stand by my side because my castle is impregnable. No one can go against your majesty, Father of Porto Seguro. In the storm, no one will rise against me, and I will succeed because you are there, and you never tire.
You never change, and we do not doubt that you will not abandon us. You will stay forever. There are no changes in your being, Father. You deliver me from all evil, so my confidence in you grows. Therefore, save me from the violence of the enemies, the injustice of the wicked, whose thoughts are perverse, as well as their actions. They incessantly plot to harm their children. They are the arrows that go in the daytime, and they are the plague that walks at night. Like mortality that follows its way to darken souls and cause anguish and anxiety so that souls are oppressed and suppressed. My most excellent Redeemer, I ask you to give me enough courage to continue, Father, and to face with your strength those who plot evil. Because I know that the fruit of their plans is evil, I will not need to be like them, Lord. Because my hope is in you, Father God Almighty, you are my refuge. I will never have to act like them because your justice is always perfect. You surround me with your love, and my guardian angel is with me wherever I go. I will not stumble on stones in the way because I have the spiritual weapons of good, which are faith and prayer. These are my shields, the most powerful armor, with which I destroy the enemy's strongholds. Lord, you have given me, and you have blessed me with your presence and favor. You have freed me with your love and kindness. Therefore, I call upon your holy name. You are my way of truth. You seal me with your Holy Spirit. Your cover is always with me. You protect me from all bad influence, as well as the attacks of the enemy. My eyes remain alert, and so does my soul. You have given me the anointing to rebuke evil, and you take care of me so that I do not get contaminated by it. You are always my protection, and I have trampled the enemy relentlessly. I am confident, despite uncertainty. My faith sees what my eyes have not yet glimpsed. You will give me victory. I know your faithfulness never fades. Therefore, beloved God, eternal God, you will lead me to the kingdom of light. The storm will not assail me. In the dark, I will not stay. You will deliver me, Lord, from the clutches of the enemy, even if there are people who want to hurt me, even if demons want to destroy me. You will protect me, Lord, with the breastplate of righteousness, so I will be firm like a rock. The devil's traps will not scare me, and I will feel peace even if everything seems dark. You are a lighthouse that illuminates the darkest sea, even when it is furious, and my boat is about to capsize. But I have full confidence that you will rebuke it, just as Christ did. The pestilence will not touch me or cause havoc in my life. They will not scare me anymore. In you, I find my great rest, and my well-being is in your hands. You are my resting place. I feel like I can't go on because the attack of evil has been strong. Father Lord, I ask that you make all my enemies visible so that I can get rid of them in time before they hurt me. Send Saint Michael the Archangel to fight the battle, and with your powerful sword, win, mighty warrior, chief of the heavenly hosts, defend me from all evil, help me, Lord to reach the blessings that God has for me. Remove all obstacles in my way in the form of people and spiritual beings. Lord, rebuke the evil spirits, those who rage against me. Always accompany me, my God, do not leave me to defend myself against them. Always be for my care, Father, dominate these opponents, have mercy. Saint Michael the Archangel, have mercy, my beloved God, because in my humanity, I cannot fight. Take each of these wayward people, 
father, so that their harmful intentions are confused, so that their machinations do not reach me. Let them fall prostrate before your presence. Cleanse their hearts full of evil, and do not let me fight perverse thoughts about them. Let there be no feelings of revenge in my heart. Never let me be overcome by hatred. Let there be no envy, resentment, or anger. Do not let me fall into any wicked plan. Protect me from these bad actions. Do not abandon me, Lord. You know my thoughts and actions. Cover me with your sacred mantle, my Father. Put your love in me, God. I need you, Father. I need this, Lord. My dear God, help me, Father, so that evil does not enter me. Thank you, my Almighty God, for giving me discernment and courage. Then I recognize evil quickly, I can protect myself before it comes against me. Thank you for making me prosper. I am surrounded and cared for by your angels. Because if I invoke you, Lord, you will respond. I am safe in you. My enemies will not see me suffer, and their perverse desires will not be fulfilled. No one will cause me pain or discomfort. The Lord of Lords is with me. I remain in peace and tranquility because I call on you and you are always by my side. You always answer my pleas, Father. Your ears love my voice. My God, you answer my heart at the right time. My lips praise you fervently. My faith grows, Lord, with hope. My knees bend day after day. I always bring my prayers in the hours of day and night. My beloved God, I believe in your love. Thank you for giving me the certainty of your goodness. I have your love, and I deserve it. Receive the answers to my requests, Lord. Give me the strategy to fight against evil. Thank you because when I am distressed, you lift me up. You do not let me weaken with every enemy attack. Your mighty love strengthens me. Therefore, I am a living testimony to your loyalty. I can overcome any tribulation. You dry my tears, those we shed in difficult times. Thank you because you always forgive me. You do not abandon me, even if I fail. Heal my wounds with love. Open up, Lord. The doors that my enemies cannot close, thank you because everything I am is thanks to you. The Lord gave me security, gave me everything I need, even when I don't understand. You give me all the grace from above. My God of peace, you are glorious and wonderful. The Lord does a powerful work in my life, a shelter and protection. Thank you because you have mercy on me. You do not let me fall into any danger or calamity, you defended me from those who rise up against me, you lifted me up. My head and my feet, without you, I am nothing. I know that all who practice evil will fall at the right time, and at the right time, I will testify to your great power, because in distress you comforted me, in sadness, the Lord gave me a smile. My excellent God, I continue to pray to you, thank you for being with me at all times. Thank you for always answering my requests. Thank you because you continue to bless me in all areas of my life. The Lord makes me fruitful even though my enemies want to keep attacking me. Help me to be a better person despite this discomfort. My heart is still very happy. I am still expecting all the wonders that you will do for me. Give me hope to continue, no matter what is happening. Your love is unconditional, 
and that is why I praise you with full faith. With you, Lord, I can start every day, no matter what my adversaries desire. You never left me. I know I passed the tests thanks to your love, and I give you glory and honor. You are my great hope. With you, I am at peace, walking over obstacles without stumbling, thanks to you, the creator of the universe. Your justice will always prevail, so proclaim your greatness. Despite the evil, my heart remains pure. Make me an instrument of love. You have always shown me the truth when I was wrong, so I could learn and become stronger every day, all because of you, Lord. No curse from my enemies can reach me, no matter what they want. You keep me healthy, great, and prosperous, and my job and economic source are protected. Their bad intentions do not affect me, and my family will not suffer consequences. Lord, you continue to guard me day after day. When they come to me, no matter what happens, Father, I ask you to bless my adversaries. May they understand their wrongdoing, and may they think about it so that they can correct their ways. Put in them the desire to change, awaken their conscience, and make their hearts sensitive so that they will no longer be an instrument of the enemy to cause harm to others and to themselves. I glorify and honor you from the bottom of my heart, Father. My soul cries out with perseverance all the time. My being meditates and reveres you, loving, great, and sublime God. I will not stop coming to you. I will lift my prayers fervently, Father. I am grateful, loved Creator. Your presence shelters me. I am under your coverage. My confidence remains. I will not doubt or fall into disbelief. My feet will not stumble on your mantle. I am. I will not depart from your shelter, thanks to the Lord I know that nothing can stand against me. My enemies will be banished. They have no authority or power in my life, they cannot harm me in any way. I cling to the voice of the Holy and Almighty against whom no one can stand. My enemies are already defeated. Father God, the Lord protects his children. His evil children will always fall. I have no doubts about that, and it doesn't matter what they do. The Lord watches over me day and night, so I will be at peace, having peaceful and beautiful dreams. Thank you because the Lord is here. He heard my prayers and soon my answer will come. I have no doubt about it because he has already answered my requests and my faith remains unshaken, no matter how long it takes to be fulfilled. I will never give up, fear does not touch me. Even if my eyes cannot see, I will keep waiting for my answer. Amen. That I did not realize, but day by day the Lord sets me free, every hour I am watched over, you give me victories over my enemies, but I do not wish them harm, I ask that you make me a better person. Despite these adversaries, your words guide me, your promises are kept, despite what is happening around you, no one can stop your purposes. The Lord opens paths for those who believe in him. You give the fruit of the works to everyone according to your perfect will at the right and perfect time. My security is with the Lord. Thank you, my God, for always taking care of me. Wonderful and great God, you are blessed. I am filled with blessings because I remain within your will. Always come to the Lord with admiration. Thank you for loving me with my flaws and sins. I can be human, you accept me as I am, you free me from the lies that surround me. 
Help me to follow within your will despite everything that I am because your love is infinite since the beginning of time. You give me life and breath, calmness, and happiness. You give me everything I need, even when I feel like I am walking through a desert, through a valley where I reign in shadows. God, thank you for giving me your healing word. Make me know the way of your love. Rejoice my heart, increase my faith, and grow my love for you. I give you my whole life, beloved God. Thank you for defeating each of my enemies. Father, I will not tire of thanking you. I will do this without ceasing. Amen. O oh my God, my Redeemer Father, when I am anxious and lose confidence. I just hope that you will take me to an oasis where I can find your peace, as Psalm 91 says. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him I will trust. When my strength fails me and everything seems like a dark hole without any glimmer of light. When I feel most vulnerable and unable to bear any more burdens on my shoulders, you appear and renew my hope. That's the answer to all our anxieties, for my Lord can deliver us from the lion and the viper, from every plague, from the arrow and the snare of the fowler. He will be our wings, our armor and our strength. Only trust can open the doors to God's kingdom, it is the firm anchor that will keep us in a safe harbor. Even when we are covered in darkness and there is no light, the stars will always be there to illuminate our path. In times of doubt, we must regain our strength, we need to hold on to the truth because only then can we find the word and promises that our Lord gave us in those difficult and painful moments. When we have experienced irreparable losses and hope seems to have left us, we can utter the name of Jesus. He will return and fill us with breath and comfort to be born again. We don't know the importance of trust until we experience the security that the Lord gives us. When humanity was devastated by plagues and wars, the hope of a new horizon always remained. This is possible when we regain our integrity and cling to the goodness of God. No matter what pain we go through, we will always have the teaching that my Lord has imparted to us to bear witness. Because it is human to ask why me, why now, why face death so closely? But the truth is, as humans, we do not expect to face such situations where our spirit, mind, and body seem affected. Therefore, we must bow our heads and be humble, accept that catastrophes and difficult events only make our faith grow and they strengthen us. We falter, we lose hope, we succumb to despair, we can only ask for the peace that we need. Lord. Remove vanity from me, give me understanding to accept the situation, to understand what is necessary to grow, then I will not fear the arrow or the deadly pestilence, nor the darkness nor the destructive plague. Every creature needs hope because it is an incentive and the push necessary to move forward. As Christians, we must become faithful soldiers, then hope will liberate us from fear and uncertainty. We know that God is good, He knows each one of His children. Therefore, as a loving Father, He covers us and gives us strength. What we need is to rise up and move forward, we must praise God to receive encouragement and regain hope. We have in Him, O oh my Lord, the Father of our Lord Jesus, by Your great mercy, made us born again to find living hope for he sacrificed his son to save us, and it's time for me to kneel before him. I thank you for the hope that you have given us, Father. 
You have a perfect plan for me and I must accept it. Give me strength to bear the calamities that come with it, because that is the only way I can deal with it. Hope is what allows me to know how to carry any burden that you place on my shoulders, because you do not give me what I cannot bear. So, I feel secure to fulfill what you have prepared for me, because you are my hope and my reference. Ever since I discovered you and I gave my heart to you, I testify that we must strengthen our faith in him. Only then can we walk securely by your side, for you will be our faithful companion. You will always give us the help we need. We do not lose hope in you, Father. The facts confirm it and suffering makes us perseverant. Strengthening our character makes us stronger, because you have poured your love into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. We should not lose hope because of difficulty, because this inner strength only reaffirms that God's presence is always present at every step of our path. I have no reason to worry, my hope will be renewed when I praise my Lord, because He is my Savior and my beloved Father. I will not give up, because I have not forgotten you, Father. I know that I will always receive the long-awaited answer from my Almighty God, my Lord and Savior. I will overflow with glory and hope, nothing and no one can take away my sleep of eternity and peace. The Holy Spirit is in me and that is enough. I must maintain my joy so that I can praise God. My joyful heart does not perceive my sadness or my anguish, because my praise must be joyful and contagious so that it can reach others incorruptibly. Hope is not just an emotional state, it is the seed that is planted in our hearts. So, we can jump for joy, find the words that God has for us in the act of love and hope. These are promises that we can believe will be fulfilled. It is the love that overflows whenever we invoke it. Thus, we will live protected and sleep peacefully and confidently. God is our protector and savior. If we go through illness due to economic problems or difficult situations with enemies, we must take refuge in him to ward off any evil, so that we can sleep and rest. Our hearts will be calm and confident. Our human vision always obscures our understanding. Hence, our fear of death. But perhaps Jesus did not die and rise again, says the voice of doubt. We are not afraid of the arrival of the end because it will only be the end of earthly life. Let us hope that we can resurrect with Jesus and live eternal life. Death is not the end, it is the beginning of a full life in paradise. The hope of being with our Lord for all eternity without physical or spiritual pain, without earthly diseases and problems. We must keep hope alive because we believe in His promise and we know that He will not fail. Blessed are those who can enjoy God's promise, who created us. Everything on earth and in the heavens, Lord, I ask that you enlighten the eyes of the hearts of those who still doubt your power, so that they may know that hope goes beyond life. And that on earth they may enjoy the benefits that you have promised us in earthly life. By praising, we can enjoy your goodness, and only through faith can we have peace through God. Let us access the grace that you have reserved for us. We will stand firm and secure to reach the promised glory. We are heirs who hold the hope of eternal life. The Lord has poured upon us the quality of regeneration and renewal in faith. That is why we can doubt and falter but always return to the safe harbor that He has given us. I have joy even within sadness, He renews me even in suffering. I persevere even in adversity because that is how salvation is expected through His Word. I place my hope in Him when I rise and when I go to bed, 
and I lift up my voice and offer my prayers. Lord, I await your response to each of my requests, whether they are simple or bold. In the strength of my God, I have put my hope, for his power covers me, protects me, and saves me. When I am hungry, he feeds me. When I am cold, he shelters me. When I am thirsty, he quenches me. Even when I am sad, he holds me in his arms. How can I not trust him? How can I doubt his power? He is always by my side, so if I fall, he will catch me. If I become ill, he will heal me. If they attack me, he will defend me. But I am aware of my responsibility towards him, so I must dedicate myself to his service and also call new believers, especially those who doubt his magnificence. The rich and the poor have the same destiny. We do not rely so much on money because it does not guarantee us eternal life. Only by adhering to the Lord's teachings can we find salvation. Approach God with a sincere heart, with all your trust and your conscience washed clean. Keep hope because He will answer you truthfully. Let us no longer doubt. We who suffer for justice will be rewarded. Let us honor our hearts in Christ, for then we will be prepared to give a reason for our hope. Let us act with kindness and respect. He will perceive our feelings, and the Lord will know if we are truly sincere. My beloved God, I approach you every morning with excitement, joy, and happiness because I know that you will accompany me in every moment. So comfort me at night too. I know that you will be with me, Father, to protect me from all dangers. When I pray Psalm 91, I take advantage of the peace I need to put my concerns in your hands. May you serve as a guide on the path I walk every day. I want to live in your shadow, Father. I want you to take me by the hand and defend me from the snares that surround me. Lord, guide my steps to achieve my goals and projects, even though I must accept your designs, whether they are good or bad. I will always be under your guidance because your goodness is great. I know that you will never leave me, even in moments of real danger, Father. Eternal, I beg for your constant presence. Give me the wisdom to decide correctly. I can solve my problems assertively. Bless me with the power to ward off evil, as well as my brothers and sisters, friends, and my partner and children. Only then can I build filial love for the well-being of myself and my family. Take this opportunity to entrust my family to the Lord. They are my most precious treasure because your teachings have penetrated me, and I understand that family is the foundation of the world. I ask that you enter their hearts and lead them to faith. Bless and protect them, Lord, so that they can enjoy your presence. I especially ask for those going through difficult times because then they will feel your power, kindness, and hope that they can solve their problems. Then they will be your soldiers forever. Become our rock and fortress. Show us our paradise where we will find fresh water to quench our thirst and where we can rest our body and spirit. My Lord, thank you for giving me a new hopeful day. I ask that you protect me on the journey ahead and fill me with your strength to face any adversity. Fill me with light and hope. Bless me to achieve every goal I have because the Lord is good and generous. I trust you completely. Your kindness is eternal. Fill me with peace. You are the one who strengthens me every day. Thus, I live each day with peace and tranquility. Dear God, forgive my sins at this moment. 
I approach you with great devotion and hope. Raise this prayer for the life I have and the life I will have, but also intercede for those who are going through difficulties and have not found their way to you. I glorify you because I have come to know the greatness of your kindness and the infinite power of your mercy. Lord, teach me and give me the tools not to fall at any moment. You are my sustenance in difficult times. Father, for my soul, fill my face with joy so that I do not give up. To face difficult times, we must always face trials, which show us that the Lord has strengthened us for such situations. We must face difficulties without fear because the Lord is with us. I feel the strength and conviction that everything will pass, and a new day will dawn with the radiant sun bathing our faces. This is the miracle of life, the reborn hope. You are and will be my refuge, before you, I kneel and thank you for the blessings that the Lord has granted me. I am grateful for showing me the way out of the labyrinth. I am happy because the Lord always points me to the light at the end of the road as a sign of love. I promise that I will honor you every day, praising the Lord and helping my fellow beings. I offer you, Lord, my prayer. I will honor you and give you faith in your trust. My heart is full of love, and my pain, anguish, and sadness leave me when I speak to you. I find myself before you, and I ask that you give me your infinite love and generosity. I trust you, and I do not need physical proof. Only your spiritual presence is enough for me, before my eyes the Lord is the light that clears my mind, this is how I manage to cleanse the anguish that sometimes oppresses my heart. With this prayer, my Lord, I ask you, Father, to renew my hope to find the answers that I so desire. Cover me with your mantle of light and take me in your arms, O God. My eyes search for you, Father, because they want to know when you will come. In my time of need, the Lord is my hope. The Lord is the rain that refreshes and renews our spirit. If the Lord is with me, who will dare to come against me? I will not fear any plague or evil spirit attacking me. I will not go through exhausting struggles and agony. Teach me, Lord, to attract new disciples, faithful people who are dedicated to promoting your word. Help me, Lord, to bring comfort to desperate souls, to make them believe in your power. Faith moves mountains, that's what we need to be able to endure adversity, because the Lord is the word and life. His teachings are the means to understand your greatness. And for those who are listening and going through a desperate moment, invite the Lord to deal with your situation. Go to our Father and you will have peace. Whether it's an economic problem, a health issue, a work or family problem, you will always find comfort and solutions in the Word of God. He will give you food to calm your hunger, fresh water to quench your thirst, and arms to warm you up. We put our trust in you and that's how we'll keep hope, because it is the key to finding the good that the Lord offers us. That's how he convinces us that every dark cloud will pass and leave the radiant sun in sight. The enemy will try to prevent us from seeing that ray of light because he wants to convince us that there is no hope. However, the Lord is the one with true power. God is our hope. Lord, today I come to you with great humility, my beloved and eternal God. Every morning, at the beginning of each day, I come to you with the hope that you will always shelter me under your mantle. For those who rest in your lap, there is no need to be afraid. 
I feel the need to get up at dawn and pray to you. Lord, you guarantee those who listen to me that you will deliver me from all destructive plagues. You save me from all evil and protect me with your protective shield. Your wings guard and protect me from all evil influence. No pernicious pest or plague will reach me, as you are with me and will appear before me. Similarly, at night, I come to you, Lord, and humbly pray, seeking refuge that can only be found in you. Not even the plague that walks in the darkness, the love and kindness that prevail at noon, can harm me, for I believe that only peace will remain by my side, as you are with me. You are omnipresent, and all those who try to harm me will fall. Their right hand will not be able to reach me with their evil. Oh, my Lord, open your arms and receive me with you. Give me your security at all times, and thank you for your mercy and kindness. I also ask you to bring me abundance, not only material but with love, tolerance, trust, and determination. I ask you, my Father, to open the way for me so that no stone can appear to make me stumble, nor will envy prevent me from succeeding. You know that my professional triumph will ensure survival and give my family what they need. Keep the angels by my side, for there is much evil in some hearts. The lion and the viper will be taken, and they will never harm me. I will be a living proof of your magnanimous power and will testify that this invocation is true and effective, for every time I am with you, I become stronger. Every time I feel your hand, when I receive what I ask for, I feel your protection. When I turn to Psalm 91, I feel an unstoppable power. We have no curses, diseases, or envy for I know that you are with me. When I feel or have any illness in my body, I know that you will be with me, for you protect and care for me because of my blind trust in your power. While I receive treatment from men, you also come to my healing with that inner strength that you have given me. When I falter in health situations, I will only turn to you because you love your children and protect them, but you also give them the love, comfort, and health they so desperately need. My family and I have everything we need, peace and quiet. Nothing can harm us, neither disease nor the harmful influence of enemies. We do not experience any defeat because you, Lord, are with us. At the end of each day, I will have the certain victory. Nothing will defeat me, neither by day nor by night, because I believe in you, in your goodness, and in the magnificence of your love. I am a testament to this, so I can speak of your power and your greatest love for illnesses. My beloved Father, I trust in your power very much, and I am sure that you will heal me. But I am afraid, Father, for I am an imperfect human being, and I am aware that life is an unforgivable desert that we must cross. We will encounter a thousand obstacles, thirst, hunger, pain, and anguish, but we will always find an oasis to go to, but if our heart is with you, nothing will knock us down. With you, we will learn to appreciate the warmth of the sun and the freshness of the night. Therefore, in the face of illness, I know that you will be there waiting for me to comfort me in your embrace and help me recover from my ailments in the desert that life sometimes becomes. You give us the strength to water the plants with tears and make them bloom. That is what it is. The great power of your unconditional love gives us the seed of your love, which blossoms within me, proving that with patience, all seeds can germinate. We are flowers in a desert, and with God's love, we will always defeat drought. You give us strength to endure the storms of the desert. I will endure this illness because I know it will make me stronger. 
I accept your gift of healing to testify to your goodness. I know, Lord, that your mercy is infinite and that you intervene in the actions of doctors and nurses to restore our health. You help them and give them the skills and wisdom to fulfill your mission. I thank you for your mercy and for renewing me. When you intervene to heal me, both in body and spirit, we have the strength to move forward and rejoice in your goodness. Help me to always fulfill my duty to you and bear witness to your power. Shield my body, keep it healthy and strong because it is my temple, and I need it to honor you and testify to your immense goodness. Jesus is proof of your power because he endured immense pain with great dignity to give his life for us. Therefore, Lord, I go through this suffering and offer you my heart as proof of my immense love. I come to you, my Heavenly Father, humbly to relieve my pain and suffering, both physical and spiritual. I know that much suffering has its roots in envy and the bad influence of my enemies. Expel them from my presence and show me your goodness in all moments. This is a prayer to break curses. Loving and Heavenly Father, I come to you and kneel before your throne to thank you for being my Father and my Protector. Thank you, Lord, for hearing my prayers. Thank you for all your blessings and benefits. Thank you for your protection and your true shelter. In your anointed blood, we are washed, blessed, and protected from all curses and envy. We will count the blessings and your powerful name in our mouths. We will be forever away from all evil in the name of Jesus. We are determined to fight against evil and curses that may fall on members of our family. Through prayer, we will be able to uproot, undo, deactivate, and break any trace of curse that seeks to affect us with death or any other evil. This can tempt and affect us with scarcity, pain, failure, illness, or destruction. Any person or entity that tries to harm us will be defeated. Trying to bring any kind of curse to our house will now be neutralized by your power, Lord. The intended curse ceases to be a curse as blessings neutralize and remove its influence. They do not prosper, do not reproduce, so Satan cannot use them against us. Your immense divine power destroys and annihilates all evil and all hierarchies of hell. Determined to end this curse, I cast them out of our lives. With the help of the Holy Spirit of every person who listens and prays with us at this moment. I implore you, Lord, to fill us with your strength to destroy this evil, any demon directing curses crushed by the power of Jesus. Any spirit, any evil that flees and goes unnoticed, our family and we will be blessed beyond any work of evil or witchcraft. No witchcraft can intervene in our peace. Holy Father, give us strength, Lord, do not let us stay in captivity. We implore you to protect our soul from any negative influence, break the chains of evil, and set us free, for you are great. You are the King of kings and Lord of lords. Lord God, I believe in you and in your Son Jesus. I believe in your sovereign power with which you come to save us. I invite and implore you to come and undo any evil spell, whatever my mistake is, forgive me, Lord. I open my heart and soul to you so that I can see my sincerity and enjoy your infinite mercy. And if I deviate from the path imposed by you, then I will accept any punishment that they put on me because I must be consistent. I will do good to receive good. I withdraw any bad word I said against someone and ask for forgiveness because I do not want to suffer any curse that brings poverty, illness, or difficult situations, Lord. Nullify any spell or curses, enchantments, and all evil. 
Lord, break now all traces of negative influence in our lives. Help us align our body, mind, and spirit in you so that we can achieve perfect balance to keep ourselves well and follow your light. Lord, you defeated Satan, and I know that you can do the same with the enemies we have if we ask with faith. When I ask for forgiveness, I open the door to mercy, cleaning my sins, and purifying them with the blood of Christ, for forgiveness breaks any curse, and the curse is exterminated. We reject any possibility of negative energies acting in our lives, and I know, Lord, that we achieve this through your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we now renounce all evil alliances caused by our sins and those of our ancestors, so all spells and witchcraft are impotent. All curses, vice, perversion, abuse, poverty, and failure will be out of our way. Lord, cancel any possibility of falling into temptation in any of these mortal sins. Amen. Thank God for this prayer against enemies and envy. Dear Heavenly Father, at this moment I come to you filled with joy and gratitude in my heart, for you always give us more than we need. You gave us the opportunity to live in this beautiful world, and you also give us your love and guide us every step of the way in our personal and professional lives. You are always with us, and what a joy it is to experience every sunrise with the hope of having another blessed day in our lives. Therefore, we thank you for this wonderful life, for our family, for blessing us with good health, for our home, our work, and for all the blessings to come. I kneel and pray to you, Lord, for although you have given me everything I need and more, I have a request that has been weighing on me. Dear Father, please remove from my life and from the lives of those who hear this prayer, all malicious people who, with envy and negative intentions, bring problems and create bad situations against us. Blessed and merciful God, cover us with your mantle of light, your infinite love and understanding, and keep all those wolves who pretend to be sheep away from us. Protect us, Lord, from all the hatred that hides behind a smile and disguises itself as friendship. Open our spiritual eyes, my God, so that we can see what we sometimes cannot. We know that your infinite kindness can touch the hearts of all those people who are sick with hate. Help, Lord, to convert their hearts so that they can find the path of good and transform their lives. Therefore, Lord, we ask that fulfillment comes with work. Joy and great rewards are the result of work, dedication, respect, love for others, and fear of you, Father. We cannot reap what we did not sow. For my part, I will continue to do everything you have taught me, my Father. I will do my best and live every day according to your precepts and rules. I know that you are with me and always by my side. I trust that nothing bad can happen to me because you protect me, dear Heavenly Father. I ask you for strength to continue even in the midst of difficulties or adverse situations, for with your grace, we stand firm. If you are with us, nothing will be lacking. Thank you, Lord, for answering my plea and for keeping your promise alive in my life. I pray to you to obtain your protection against the dangers that sometimes lurk from enemies who come in different forms and situations and inspire us to follow their example. May your blessing always be with me so that I can avoid everything that puts me in danger. Help me, Lord, so that I can avoid dangerous situations, poverty, and problems in life. If you took care of your son after he was sacrificed, it is because your heart is full of love and compassion, especially for those who are most afflicted. You are always beside those who are departing from this world and anyone who is going through health problems. 
Therefore, we appeal to your powerful intervention, to your light, Lord, for you are our God and our Father, our Rock, our Refuge, and our Salvation. Hope is in you, Lord, and knowing that you will hear our requests, grant us this grace that we humbly ask for, especially for your glory, O Lord. Help us to banish from our presence anyone who seeks to harm us and also our family. We promise to live and die as your faithful Son Jesus did to attain the happiness of eternal life. Amen, thank God. Prayer for Protection I invite you here, beloved Jesus, to be by your Father's side to defend me and remove from my side any evil, danger, or negative influence that would affect me or my family. Remove from us all malicious temptation. Protect us, Almighty God, from all external violence, injustice, abuse of power, and betrayal. Defend me from envy, evil, hatred, and selfishness so that all these do not have the strength against the happiness that you deposit in our lives. We thank you for all the special care that you have dedicated to us. Thank you very much, my beloved Father. We exalt you, Lord of good. We say, Lord, this is why I strive to give testimony of my life and the graces of which I am the object. I feel honored to receive your favors because you are the King of Kings and your power is infinite. Your presence has been proven for many centuries where you have dedicated yourself to protecting your children from all witchcraft, evil, and curses, and all negative aura. You bring us strength and courage to achieve victory over our enemies, whether in body or spirit. I know that you send protection angels around us. You camp angels by our side. They cover us with their wings and carry us in their arms. They keep us away from all evil and danger. They undertake their actions like a celestial army. They cover us in front, behind, to the left, and to the right, above and below. God, let your soldier of light swing his sword to cut the enemy and protect us all the time. Powerful Father, guide our steps so that by your grace, I can accomplish great deeds that will make me worthy of your blessings. Grant me, Lord, your patience and love so that I can forgive everyone who has wronged me. In this way, I will be fulfilling your precepts and laws and also carving my way to eternal life. My Lord and Redeemer, defend us in the fight, protect us against all evil influences and against the lurking of Satan. Manifest, Lord, your power. This is my supplication to you because I know that in your strength, you expel the wicked and his subordinates from my life. All the evil spirits that roam the world and work constantly, God is present in me. My God, my Jesus, guard my spirit, Lord, not only during sleep but also in every step I take. Therefore, my Father, in any attack that I suffer in darkness, I will consider your merciful protection mine. In the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, I lift up this prayer to you, Holy and Almighty Redeemer. I recite this prayer with complete faith, knowing that you take good care of me and my loved ones. My full trust resides in my heart, so nothing, not even my life or my family, is unprotected. I live under your shelter. The Most High is my dwelling place. I abide under the care of a holy God. I am in your shadow. Your wings protect me. I declare that my hope is in you. I proclaim that you are my home and shelter. My expectations are in your love. 
I see a horizon of peace because you are with me. Confidence fills me when I am in your presence. You are my castle and fortress. God of eternal peace and love, all-powerful supporter, I know that these words have reached your holy throne. No bond can stop me. Nothing can harm me if you are with me. The hunter does not scare me. I live in peace only for you. Thank you because I know that you hear me. Your ears are ready for my prayers, dear God, excellent and wonderful Redeemer. No plague will come near me. Your feathers always cover me. Loving and warm Father, you fill me with your divine light. On your powerful wings, I feel safe in the face of any danger. Your shield truly protects me. Your shield frees me from any persecution. I have nothing to fear. No danger can reach me. During the night, I am at peace because no terror intimidates me. In broad daylight, I feel calm because the arrows do not touch me. They cannot harm me. You divert them. You remove any impasse from me. Problems do not make me uncomfortable, even those that walk in darkness or those that appear in broad daylight to destroy the children of God. Whoever wants to do evil to the left or to the right, whoever wants to make me stumble to the right and to the left, thank you, my beloved God. All those who conspire against me will not prevail. Their feet will not stand or affirm. They will be removed, and my eyes will see them fall beside me. No harm can reach me. They have received their reward. For each of their works, they will be confused and bewildered. Therefore, their plans will not prevail. I will witness your reward because God is the creator of good. He will not allow his children to be defeated. He will not allow the actors of the enemy to triumph. I will be justified. I am not afraid of any known or unknown enemies, of any bandits. Your love is faithful and eternal. Your faithfulness never fails. You fought the good fight for me. You do good works for me. There is no one who can defeat me. The enemy will be destroyed. Satan and his wicked hosts will fall. I have no doubt about that. You send angels to take care of me. You protect me with your goodness. Your love is my best dwelling place. Your strength makes me grow, and staying with you, nothing has the power to scare me. If you are with me, your breath will carry me. You are the breeze that takes me to the good port. Thanks be to God, beloved and all-powerful. You are my hope, my God in whom I always trust. You cancel out evil. It does not reach your children. I am fully certain of this. My spirit rejoices every time I pray. In all moments, I know that you remain with me. No matter how difficult the problem is, there you are. I can feel you. Your angels also remain with me. There is a fence around me protecting me, guarding all of my ways. Your protective hands are my help in difficult times. The Lord leads me with them so I won't fall into any trap. My feet tread firmly, no matter what obstacles arise in my path, which is why I don't stumble. I can walk my paths because the Lord guides me day and night, and His light shines on me even when I'm in darkness. No matter the situations or problems that may occur, the Lord is with me. The Lord controls all events and anoints my head with His love. 
He fills me with hope and fear disappears because He is by my side. I declare that You are the God of my life, and my eyes will see no harm. No curse will affect me, and all affliction will disappear. Any road I walk on will be protected because your angels will be with me, like powerful archangels. You hear my prayers from your throne. Dear God, excellent protector, you protect me from everything I cannot see, from illnesses and harm. My body is healthy and full of energy, and my steps are confirmed by you. You keep me away from bad people and all those who work for the enemy. Their attacks in the darkness and corners do not scare me. I have no fear of their evil actions, those who like to hurt and speak ill. Their lips are ready to deceive, and their words are sharp daggers that cut. Lord, I ask that you keep me away from them and attract only good people to my life. Build a wall so they cannot reach me because they only know how to do evil wherever they go. Let me be victorious, and my eyes see the reward of the wicked, for you are my highest light, holy beloved Heavenly Father. They will be crushed like instruments of evil. I have put my love in you, and that is why I know that you will set me free. My faithfulness in you is complete, and my faith grows in my mind and soul every day. When I call upon you, Lord, you always answer me. You never leave me alone, even in times of distress. I glorify you and declare that you are my Almighty God, who fills me with abundant life and shows me your glory and salvation. No one can scare me, not even spiritual forces or invisible beings or the wicked. Complete peace is in my being, and nothing will touch my house because you encamp around it so that it will not be an object of harassment. My house is guarded on the left and right, up and down, wherever I am, I feel safe. Thank you, my God. I close my eyes with confidence, and I can rest assured because you are here. You hear my prayers day and night, and even when the sun sets, you are still there. No matter where I am, I have peaceful dreams, my soul is calm, and my guardian angel is here. I will have total rest so that when the new day comes, I will feel rejuvenated. No matter what happens, although shadows may come, your light always shines in the darkness. I have no doubts about it, so please remain with me always. My soul remains calm, and my heart is silent in you. Presence Eternal Beloved Redeemer, I declare that you are my God, that you are always benevolent to your children. I never stop being by your side, I always bow down to you. I praise you with reference, I live under your holy will. I declare that you are my place of peace where I want to remain forever. I have full confidence that you will never fail me, even when I am wrong, you do not abandon me. When I stumble, you forgive me with your infinite love. Therefore, evil cannot trap me with its snare. The hunter of souls cannot reach me because you always cover me with your wings so that I am protected. Then nothing can harm me. I always remain safe. Thank you, my eternal God, strong and firm rock, I cling to you. Your plenitude fills me, you are my refuge and support, the reason for my existence, and the light of my soul. You fulfill the requests I make because there is nothing that is impossible for you, O God. With you, I find the peace that I need. I remain safe in your hands. Only you know everything that I need, all my desires and wishes. That is why I hold on to you. My hands hold on because you are my salvation. Lord, Please keep in mind the needs of my family, 
everything that they need today and always. Protection and care, shelter and strength, according to your perfect will, grant us our requests. Do not let us lack provision for the necessary goods, nor spiritual food that nourishes and makes our inner selves grow. May your healing hands be upon us so that nothing touches us. Remove every storm from our lives with your actions, and let calmness be our support in every moment, so that my soul can rest and my loved ones can always be in full peace. I never tire of worshipping you, Lord. Your being never fails. I will continue praying, seeking you on your holy throne, declaring that you are my almighty God, that nothing can prevail before you. There is no opposing force that can resist you. You are the plenitude of life. All enemies become silent and they move away with your wind. You take them away from my existence. Thank you, my dear God. My feet are firm, you are the guide in each of my steps. You allow me to achieve the goals that I have set for myself, and you will allow me to reach each one of them because you have blessed me with wisdom. You have filled my gaps. You fill every part of my being with your love. My feet are always firm towards the purpose you have for my life. Keep me in that objective that you have set for me. I want you to use me for good so that you will bless not only my life but also the lives of others. Lord, do not let anyone lead me to a bad place. If I do something wrong, bring me back with love so that I do not get lost with those who do wrong. Always draw me to you, my sublime God. Thank you, my Father. Take care of my coming and going. Lord, as soon as I open my eyes, I come to you, Father. My steps lead me to the place where I lift up my prayers, where I kneel to speak with you, my wonderful Father. If I am with you, there is no room for fear, anguish, and anxiety. They cannot reach me or fill me with their shadows. You fill me with abundance in every sense, and no matter what happens, your protection is my roof, my home, and my safe place, where I always feel secure. That is why I always feel victorious, I am well in plenitude, and I remain today, lifting up my prayer as an offering to you, Lord. They will reach the holy throne unimpeded, as there are no obstacles because my love for you, Lord, is complete and true. You fill and protect me with your shield, your divine shield is my custody, my cape during the day and at night. You deflect the enemy's arrows, so they never reach me, my refuge, and savior. No matter what happens, you will keep me safe from any trap. I never doubt and never tire of being before the Lord. I reflect and meditate on your works, on each of your perfect and wonderful words that fill my heart with plenitude. They nourish my being like spiritual food, and I lack nothing if you are with me. I live happily when I am by your side, and I always go safely so that wicked men do not stay around me. Nothing will resist you with your power, my God, and I am calm, I have everything with you. I do not need anything else but your magnificent love. I know that I will have what I asked for, Lord, just as you gave me sweet promises. You are a place of peace and my exalted high home, my beloved God. Plagues are gone, scourges no longer exist, and there is no place where your presence fails. You reside in every corner inside and outside of me and your ears listen to every request of your children with love. Your arms carry me when I need it, you heal every one of my wounds, and you are always present in difficult times. I feel you in moments of happiness, you wiped away my tears, 
and your heart, beloved Father, is eternal adventure and powerful. Thanks to God, because your hands guide me, that's why I don't doubt your love. The wicked will fall and see their reward, they will choose the works of their hands, the fruits of their actions. You will not spare us the consequences because you are a God of justice, exalted, all-powerful, and faithful. Therefore, I know that soon I will declare my victory because the Lord fights for me with strength, and your celestial beings will never leave me because my faith is in you. The day begins and ends with you. It starts with these prayers, my eyes open eagerly to your wonderful works in the sky. You created love and beauty in plenitude, and I am happy to be with you before dawn to declare that you are the supreme and eternal being with marvelous plans for my life. This is my sacred and special moment. You are peace and life, and I stand before you with love and devotion. With full humility, I place each of my requests before you because I know you take care of me. I am filled with harmony and happiness at every moment. You are the armor that protects me, and I rest in you. I have peace that surpasses all thoughts and situations. I am like a bird that flies against the contrary wind, knowing that you lead me. Therefore, I know that I will reach my destination without obstacles if you are with me. You are my refuge and horizon, the place where I go and the one who makes me smile. In my heart beats an eternal and reliable refuge. You have known my name since I was in the womb, and you will not leave me abandoned, even in the hands of my enemies. You train my hands and feet, so I will fight the good fight without fear and with full confidence in your promises. I will conquer all that you propose for me. Your words are like poetry, and you extend my days by your mercy so that I have a full and prosperous existence. I apologize if I have failed. Even with my thoughts, I can sin, but when I confess, you forgive me. Even though I am weak and imperfect, I cannot stand before your face. But you are a perfect, loving, and sublime God, a wonderful and excellent Redeemer. Thank you because you do not abandon me. Thank you because you are faithful. Thank you because you have honored me. Loving, faithful, and sublime God, every night, you cover me so that I may be confident. I know that the new day will bring great blessings, and just imagining it moves me. Everything you do is for my good, and I live under your care, protection, and custody. I rest in safety and tranquility because I am safe from dangers that I cannot see. You never stop taking care of me and protecting me. No misfortune can reach me, and bad situations are far from my existence. Even if they come close, nothing will happen to me. My eyes are fixed on tomorrow because I will see everything I ask before you. I will be blessed and prosperous, and no evil purpose will harm me. I walk among them, and they do not touch me. Thank you, my God because you are here, and there is nothing that can make you falter. You open new doors for me, and tomorrow is always my victory because I am always in prayer. I never tire of asking, dear holy God, and declaring that you alone are God. Like the angels before your glorious throne, I thank you for everything, my Father. Thank you for your infinite faithfulness. I am eternally grateful for your love and mercy. I am who I am. Amen. Dear Lord, 
I entrust my beloved children to you so that you may guide and direct their lives towards a bright and sacred destiny from your hands. I know that only you can save them, only you can deliver them from all evil, and only you can keep them under your mantle to protect them from all harm and danger. I pray to you, Lord, to keep them strong and firm during times of temptation and confusion that may come their way. Walk with them, hold their hands, and illuminate their paths with your wisdom to make the best decisions and maintain clarity during their most challenging moments. So that they may follow their paths without regrets, always under your holy light and divine protection, putting them above everything that is not eternal. In this way, they will have a joyful and willing heart, a simple and holy life with values and responsibilities, goals and dreams. An unwavering faith, and they will delight in your presence with your Holy Spirit strengthening their lives. Especially during times of darkness and sadness, knowing that you are their strength and their Savior. Only you, Lord, can protect my children in all moments because you are holy, and only you can open the heavens and illuminate with your light. As a member of the church and mainly from my family, I know that only in you can I trust to protect my children because I trust only you to keep them safe. With your power and magnificence, Lord, you can deliver them from any danger, as if you were with them because you are a father. And you created your son, Jesus, and you raised him to the heavens by your side. Therefore, I believe in you, and my children will be safe in your presence. I trust that you will never fail, and you will always have them in your right hand. When it is time, you will take them to heaven to be by your side as if they were with me because you are everywhere, omnipotent, and the Savior. The lives of my children are intertwined with you because I declared it since they were born, since they were conceived. I gave them to you, their bodies, spirits, and souls. Above all, my Lord, I ask you to protect their hearts, not to let any evil spirits or dark forces enter their hearts, making them hard and insensitive. Instead, make their hearts pure and strong, able to resist all the temptations present in their paths. Our Holy Family is always gathered in your presence, and we want your Holy Spirit to always be with us. Please allow us never to lose our firmness in faith, to trust in your Spirit and the power of prayer. Help us in difficult times, during moments of pain and anguish, and guard us with the protection of your hand, Father. Plant our feet in your path, envelop our home with your light, and even though there is darkness in the world. May our home be an example to follow, an example of your teachings and guidance on earth. The power of your Holy Spirit that can reform and build, and fill us with peace and joy that sustains us in all moments because we are your children. And we know that our human strength is nothing compared to your power. Therefore, I know and my children only need your protection to be sure and be happy. Dear God, bless my children on their paths. Bless them on their pilgrimages so that they may be free. They have no ties in their spirits, nor in their hearts, do they always praise you. Let the ungrateful be grateful to you, O Lord, and to their parents who strive to give them the best and guide them on the path of faith in Christ since their birth. We raise our children with full faith that they will grow up to be good people, but above all, that they will be holy people, a hope with kind and firm hearts in the face of temptation. With unshakable values and strength to always praise you. I thank you, Lord, because in our family we can look to you. We know that everything is ephemeral except for your Holy Spirit. Everything is temporary except for your mighty hand that puts everything in its place. 
No matter what happens, you are our Father. You sent us your Son, the Savior, and your promise is still intact. That is why my children are yours. I entrust them to you, Lord. Do with them as you will. Move your spirit in them, protect them. They are the most sacred thing I have. They are my treasure. That is why I know that with you they will be safe, not only physically, but also in mind and spirit. Transform their hearts for you, O God, so that they do not get lost in the dark, seeking relief elsewhere. Because everything else is false, only you are true. I want them to worship you, Father. I want them to seek you in times of despair and to glorify you in times of glory, because your power, Lord, is throughout the earth. I thank you, Lord, for all the love you have always shown my family, especially my children. You have shown them that in difficult times, you have been here, transforming their weaknesses into strengths. I deeply thank you and ask that you take care of them in life. I know that you will surely be there for them when they go into eternal life, because they will be by your side forever. That is how you will give them your eternal love, because you will call them. Guide them to a full life filled with your love and mercy, always in your presence, always in front of your eyes and within our hearts. So that our family never separates and we can always be together with your spirit guiding us at all times. And may you enter the hearts of my children and surround them with your love, so that they receive all that you have to give them. So that they may live everything that you have reserved for them and recognize in them your will. Hear them when they call you, Father. Protect them from the cold that may be in their hearts. Protect them with your word. For your word is their help at all times and will be the relief that their hearts need when they feel down from the blows of life. May you pass your hand over their heads when I cannot do it, so that they may feel the comfort of your love. Which is an infinite love like the one I feel for my children. Make their eyes turn to your presence. Let them praise you, worship you, honor you, holy God. Let them listen to your word that gives life. May your eyes see all that the Lord does for them so that they may not doubt that the Lord is their Father, their Savior, and that his light illuminates their paths when they walk in the shadows. May the Lord protect them with his mantle from heat and cold, and may his mercy cleanse all their sins, shining perpetual light upon them. May they seek your counsel and make the most of the days that come for glory. Lord, you know well that my children are everything to me, that I would give my life for them, and that my family revolves around them. When they are not at home, I worry in anguish over their safety. That's why I entrust them to you, Lord, because I know that with you, I need not fear. With you, they will have protection on their journey until they return home. That's why I never worry. I have infinite confidence in your power, your power of protection and salvation, which makes all your children safe. My children are safe with you, Almighty Father, and for that, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, on my knees, for all the times you have protected my children, blessed them, and been there for them through sickness, fear, and despair. You have always walked by their side, comforting them in pain and cheering them with joy. Always hating them with your presence, for who better than you to care for them, heal their fevers, and embrace them? No one else, Lord. No one else has your greatness, your power, your love, that infinite love that works wonders for us and will always be my comfort and help, Lord God. I want to thank you for coming to this earth and choosing us as your children, 
Lord, for I know that this is why you love us unconditionally. You only want us to follow you, to let us follow your path, so that we can hear your word and the light that illuminates the world. May my children see this light, may they hear your gospel, may they have a true heart for you. I want them to know your light, Father, and to receive your salvation, to be illuminated by you. To stand before them clearly so that they may know you, may love you, and may call upon your name every day, recognizing you, God, as their only Savior. This is my desire, Lord, that my children see you as their Father, that they desire your presence in their lives. And that they surround themselves with your wonders, contemplating the beautiful work you have created because you created everything. The sun, the stars, everything beautiful, and you gave me the most beautiful gift of all, my children, who shine in my house and make it brighter. A more beautiful life because of this I thank you every day, Father, and I ask you on my knees to take care of them and bless them always. My children are growing up, learning new things, exploring their identities. I ask you to grant them your grace, to give them good thoughts and clean minds, to let them shine with good objectives, and to always use them for your glory. This is my greatest desire, that all your gifts and blessings be used to praise and glorify the Lord and to walk under your guidance. Because in the Lord we feel safe, we feel protected, we have everything and more. That is why we do not want to stray from you, O Lord. Our family is centered around your presence. We raise our children to follow all your rules. Lord, never leave us and always be with us, enlighten us with your light, protect us from the storm. Without you, we will be lost, thrown to our fate, with nothing to hold on to, with nothing in our hands. Only your love can save us, set us free, protect us. My children will have no better protection than yours. Only the Lord gives us unconditional love, an infinite love that will never end, that will always be with us and will never leave us. That is why we cling to the Lord with all our fervor because we know that the Lord would never let us go, no matter how far we fall. The Lord will always be waiting for us because you are our Father, our Savior, our only strength. We love you, Lord. You are the pillar of our family. That is why my children are in the best hands with you, dear Heavenly Father. I know that you are present in every step we take, in every path we walk. There is no one better than you to grant us what our hearts desire. And you, Father, know that my heart's desire is for my children to be protected and healthy. Only you can grant me the greatest desire of my heart because my children are within me. And if something hurts them, you will take care of everything. I could not bear to see them suffer, so I implore you to take them in your hands and always keep them by your side. Keep them always to your right, always with you, because it will be as if I am always taking care of them. But I cannot always be with them, so I trust you, God. I have no doubts, Father, that your love for them is as great as mine. That they are in your heart as they are in mine. Because you see them with the eyes of a father, just as I see them. You are everywhere. And where I cannot be, you will remove all danger that I cannot see. You will be my voice when they cannot hear me. You will be my arms when I cannot hug them. You will be their companion when I am not close. You will give them all your love with the same intensity as I do. You can take my place and do everything that I do, but better, in a much better way. 
That is why I always thank you that my children are safe by your side every time they leave my house. I place in your hands, and I know that they will always return safely because the Lord makes them come back to me. And when they leave my home, I know that your presence will never leave their side. So I will be at peace, waiting for the day when they will return to the home where they grew up and learn to love you infinitely glorious Lord. Now I want to thank you for the beautiful and wonderful children that you have given me. I could never ask for better children than the ones I already have. I know that you have chosen me to take care of these wonderful beings here on earth. I know that they are angels from heaven that you have brought down to this plane as a gift to me. For which I am deeply grateful, because they are people covered by your grace. Every day. I am surprised by all the things that they learn and know, and I know that it is because of you. Because you have bathed them with your spirit. The Lord has given them all of his gifts. And you have given me the order to educate them properly so that they may spread your word throughout the world. So that they may follow your commands, so that they may live under your guidance. And so that they may build a home based on your laws, because this way I can show you how grateful I am that you have given me this wonderful gift to take care of these people who give me joy and satisfaction every day. That is why I kneel before you, O Father, giving you infinite thanks for giving me children, and I know that the Lord takes care of them and blesses them. Lord, bless our family, may you provide us with everything we need, and with your help. May we be a holy family worthy of your being, an example to follow. That is why I thank you, Father, protect us from all evil, bless our home, Bless my children, and all of our family. You know my children, they are the most sacred thing that I have, so in your infinite mercy, I ask you to always take care of them, keeping them under your wing at all times. Amen.